My name is Yoon Olsen and it used to be simple to answer to what I do. I used to be a pro skier, but now I think I've become a YouTuber somehow. So I'm like, I guess a skiing YouTuber. I've skied my whole life and my parents are skier, my brother is a skier and uh, I got really good at it quickly and was able to trade having absolutely no money at all to like getting paid to ski powder in Aspen. So I didn't really choose to be a pro skier, it just sort of happened. Well, I guess growing up, we had the simplest cars you could possibly have to get from where we lived to the ski resorts. And I would always see, you know, this, uh, the Swedish ski team would all pass us in nice Audis and we're going so slow trying to make it up there and they're like, Mom! So I guess when I started making money skiing, first thing I did was blow it all on cars. Cause like, you know, as every kid, you know, I wanted cars and then I finally had some money to buy a car. The first car I could afford was a Mazda B2000, a pickup. It was purple with flames, had a wooden steering wheel and there was a hole in the gas tank. So it wouldn't really go uphill. When I was a kid, like I had zero car interest. Like the only thing I was interested in was sports and we would ski, we would play hockey, football and all these things and then I guess my car interest kind of started when I moved to Monaco when I was 20, something like that. Because before that, I couldn't even afford to buy a set of tires. So I guess it all started when I moved to Monaco. And then when you move to Monaco, nice cars all of a sudden becomes, you know, a normal daily driver. And a funny story actually is that one day I decided I'm going to buy a Porsche, a 911 Turbo. And I picked it up in Germany and I thought that was the coolest car I'd ever seen. Drove it into Monaco thinking I was like the coolest guy alive, but apparently I was completely invisible. So I actually drove it to the airport two days later because I had to go to Canada to do a few events. And then I won all the events in Canada, came back to the airport, drove straight to the Lambo dealership and asked, do you have a colorful Lambo? I want something loud with a lot of color. And then it all kind of snowballed from there. Well, I mean, they've seen me throw a lot of throw a lot of money away on cars, so they are not too fond of uh, the whole hobby. But they've also realized that because of all the crazy car things that I've done, I have, I guess, generated an interest in what I do, which now kind of, you know, sort of helps me make a living, uh, you know, through sponsorship and YouTube and all this. So they're, they've, I think they've always been worried about my stupid choices, but now they're kind of like, it, it seems like whatever he's doing, it's working out. The car right here that I'm driving on the snow tour is the Praga R1R, which is the only road legal version of the Praga. It's 370 horsepower, I believe, and about 700 kilos. So on a dry road, this is about as extreme as it possibly gets. And then on these winter conditions, it's it handles surprisingly well, but it is slightly, slightly painful to do it. And I do believe that driving this all the way through Sweden on ice is about as much of a challenge as it can be. Like I could drive an Audi 100,000 kilometers and that would be less of a challenge than two kilometers in this. It handles fantastically, it's great. It's like stable and all this. Uh, the problem is that it's so low, it's so tight and everything. So when you have all the uneven bumps and everything, then you really feel it up your like whole body constantly and visibility is a bit limited. So it, it is a huge challenge, way bigger than I expected. Okay, so the best car I've ever owned, I'd have to say the RS6, because it had four seats, it was raw as a monster, and it was just sick. But then the Huracan was like, it was like a two-seater version of that. Equally insane and, and probably better built than the RS6, and favorite car. Well, the Rebellion. I mean, I spent six, seven years building the Rebellion. So of course that one has to be in my top three favorite. So if I have to pick three cars to own and have in my garage, it's such a tricky question. I would pick an RS6. I just love that car. I would pick, I kind of would, I'd almost pick the Praga because it's so unique and like mega raw race car. And then probably a McLaren P1 GTR, street legal. Since I started a daily vlog, I have zero minutes to work on anything besides the most necessary things in life. Uh, the only thing I do have time to work on is wrap design, but I do all the ideas and like what I want to do with the plants that I have. 
Damn. Well, there's one thing required in order to tune cars, and that is money. So if you want to tune cars, learn that you have to work your ass off before you tune your cars. So uh, that, that's my advice. You want something, you go out there and you work for it, and then you work some more if you want more of it. And the harder you work, the more you can do. So that, that's my general advice. And then just build whatever you think is cool. And don't listen to anyone. People tell you it's stupid, do it anyway, because you know it's your build, your idea, so just do it. You're the only one qualified to answer this. Can you ever kill a Volvo? Uh, yes, you can kill a Volvo in many, many different ways. The Volvo automatic gearboxes, if you're in Norway and you're going downhill, they have zero engine brakes, so it'll overheat the brakes in two seconds, which I've experienced firsthand. So, so I guess not completely dead, but like still not feeling that good. Future goals just in, involves finding peace in life, like being able to wake up in the morning and not feel stressed about taking on too many things and like wanting to do too many things and just having fun with a lot of good friends. And so, so yeah, quite simple goals, I would say. I just want to wake up and be happy. We are fixing Phil. I really hope so. I'm all done with Phil. Well, this car is just moulded in the time you've left it. Yeah, I know. What's going on here? It's all mouldy, isn't it?